You will need your sling for real carabiners, not the keychain kind, a muzzle, two six foot nylon slip leads, treats, a Dremel, preferably one that's battery operated, and a table of some kind. You're going to put eye screws in a solid wood structure. This is one of two different brands that I have found of the grooming sling. This is the one I will be ordering next. It's much baggier. Um, it just looks more comfortable. You're going to put your carabiners through these holes on top of the outside of the sling. I like to put them facing so they open um, towards the outside. I always like to start with the Dremel already on before I even bring the dog outside. Mud knows the place command so it's easy for him to jump up there. Um, I taught him like a shake um, so he's better with his foot handling. It was not easy getting this sling on initially. He was very scared of this because he just had such a phobia to this entire process. You can check out the video of how we conditioned the grooming sling itself. Um, he had to wear it as a jacket at first. He was so scared of it. So as you can see, um, his state of mind is pretty darn good now. Even wagging his tail. Uh, this is a huge, huge improvement from where we were. I highly recommend using a muzzle for this procedure, whether you think your dog needs it or not. A muzzle will act as a form of sensory distraction, helping your dog stay focused on something else other than the foot handling. Whether you think your dog would never bite you, I will tell you right now, as a professional trainer, that all dogs bite. All dogs are capable of biting if the right um, recipe of pressure is put on them you're putting your dog in a vulnerable position here where they are very much restrained so please just stay safe and go ahead and muzzle your dog okay so here you see i'm kind of scratching him and working my way down i'm not just going ahead and grabbing his foot um, we do this technique with horses as well to kind of just warm the body up a bit um, I, you see I am, I'm holding the toe and I'm bracing the nail as I Dremel. I cannot express how important this is. Do not just hold your dog's foot and Dremel the nail without creating some support. That's like, you know, your mom brushing your hair as a kid and not holding the base of the hair and brushing, right? It just feels much better when there's some support there. So John is... In scratching him a bit, patting him, lifting him up. We are slowly working on um, him not doing a full hang like this and transitioning to being able to be held and not need the sling. John is rubbing inside of his ears. Again, sensory distraction, trying to help him focus on something else other than what I'm doing. So now we are finished. John's gonna go ahead and pick him up. I'm gonna slide that tall place bed under there. I'm going to unclip him. After I get the clips off, I'm not going to be in a major hurry to just take the muzzle off and rip the sling off. I mean, that's kind of you know sending the wrong message. I want him to be comfortable with those tools. So here he'll get a nice little scratch, a little massage. You can see he's wagging his tail. His recovery time to this procedure is now so good. I mean, he used to be shut down for hours after doing his nails. If I had a big enough hole in this muzzle, I would absolutely be feeding him through the muzzle. But here I want him to get those treats. Again, you know, I'm not rushing him off the bed. No big deal. Enjoy your reward. Take him through his little footwork, his little shake command, and you can clearly see that he's okay and in a very, very good state, actually. I will send him back to the bed, right? Um, I think 
this part gets overlooked a lot with any kind of handling, trimming, grooming procedure. Once it's over, people tend to throw their hands up and kind of just get the dog out of there. I'm trying to do the opposite of that by just going through the motions, using his commands, and the rewards continue to come. When using the grooming sling, it's not just about using a tool that's going to help you get your dog's nails trimmed. It's about changing how they feel about the entire procedure.